So let's examine the following example that deals with solenoids. So suppose a 50 centimeter long solenoid has a diameter of 2 centimeters. Now if the solenoid is to produce a magnetic field of 0.8 milliteslas at the center of that solenoid, we want to calculate the electric current inside the wire of the solenoid that is required to produce this magnetic field if in part A the wire makes 500 loops around and in part B the wire makes 5000 loops around. So here we have our diagram of our solenoid. So we have a continuous long conducting wire that makes some number of loops. So in part A we have 500 loops and in part B we have 5000 loops. Now we also have an electric current I inside our solenoid that produces a magnetic field at the center of our solenoid and we want to calculate what the quantity of electric current is that is required to produce this magnetic field in case A and case B. So let's begin with part A. So let's suppose the number of loops in our solenoid is 500. So recall in the previous lecture on our discussion of solenoids we said that the magnetic field B at the center of our solenoid is given by the following equation. So we take the product of the permeability mu naught and the number of loops and I our electric current and we divide that by the total length of our wire of our solenoid and that gives us our magnetic field. So we take this equation rearrange it and solve for I. So I is equal to the ratio BL divided by mu naught multiplied by N. So we know our B is 0.8 milliteslas. So we must convert this to teslas. So we divide this by a thousand and we get the following quantity. Now L is given to be 50 centimeters. So we convert this to meters by dividing by 100 and we get 0.5 meters. Now mu naught is the permeability of free space. It's a constant and it has a value of 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 and Teslas multiplied by meters divided by amps and our L or our N is given to be 500 loops. So we multiply, we divide and we get about 0.64 amps is our electric current inside the wire that produces this quantity of magnetic field if the number of loops is 500 and our distance, our length of the solenoid is 50 centimeters. Now, let's move on to part B. So now everything essentially remains constant except we increase the number of loops from 500 loops to 5000 loops. So once again we use the following equation, we solve for I and we get this result. So now we plug in our values, we have the same exact magnetic field, we have the same length L, we have the same constant of permeability of free space and now we increase our n from 500 to 5000. So that means we're essentially decreasing our electric current by a factor of 10. So now our electric current in the wire of the solenoid is 0.064 amps. So we see that if we are to decrease our electric current inside our wire while we keep our magnetic field constant at the center, we must essentially increase the number of loops that our wire makes.